Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing good and uh, today we are going to discuss our third session of the topic geometry in which we are going to discuss how to measure an angle. So session 1 and session 2 we have already done and the videos are available on our channel. Whosoever has missed the videos can check our channel and can check the recording. So before starting today's topic, let me give you an introduction of SIFNAN. India's most sincere learning destination for classes 1 to 10. Here we provide you 100% live and interactive classes. We have a personalized attention batch with maximum 6 students so the teacher can focus on each and every student. We have a dedicated academic mentor team, the team of experts to track and work on students' progress. We cover syllabus as per school exam schedule and we also handle custom requests. Let's see some key features of SIFLAN. Here we provide you detailed progress report in which every learning parameter is discussed in detail. Here students can attend SWIFTLEARN academic test series and can compete with different students, can take unlimited practice tests, both objective and subjective are available so that they can prepare for school examination. So what are you waiting? Book our free trial now and you can visit our website swiftland.com and you can also contact with our sport team and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel so let's begin the session third of geometry so let's see what we today we are going to learn so in previous section uh, session i've already told you how to measure an angle so we'll proceed our topic today and we will learn uh, some word problems and some problems how to measure an angle so do you remember in the last class we talked about the different types of triangle the straight tri uh, angle the acute angle the obtuse angle a right angle reflex angle do you remember the measure of a straight angle the straight angle measure is yes you are correct so it's 100 80 degree. So what is the example? A straight line is an example of a straight angle. Okay, so another question, how many right angles are there in 5 over 2 complete turns of a circle? So how you will do it? So can we write it like this in a mixed fraction? So we'll come to know how many complete circles are there, how many complete revolutions are there. So there are two complete turns of a circle and two complete turns means eight right angles plus half. That means half turn. So circle is like this, right? So if completes one, so we will get four, uh, four uh, right angles and four more that will become eight and half. It's saying two and a half. So half will include two more. So it means there will be 10 right angles in the uh, revolution of 5 by 2 complete turns of a circle. So let's revise one more example. It's saying if we will draw a line that joins A and AC, so which kind of triangles they are forming? Correct, they are forming right angle. Here they are making right angles. With base and perpendicular, they are making right and triangles because the sum of right triangles is equal to 90 degree. Let's solve some questions. So question number one, angle B A uh, C is an obtuse angle. If you see it clearly, it's greater than 90 degree. That means it's an obtuse angle and is greater than 90 degree. It's true. The second question is angle ABC is a right angle. So is this a right angle and equal to 90? No, not. it's not correct. And the third one is angle ABC is an obtuse angle and less than 90 degree. It, do you remember obtuse angle means, yeah, I told you the bigger one. So it's always greater than 90 degree. So this statement is false. And last statement is, it's an acute, cute, cutie pie angle. Cutie pie angle, I told you, is always less than 90 degree. So it's not because if we see the figure, uh, 
so it is obtuse angle slightly greater than the right angle okay so let's start our today's topic can you tell me how to measure an angle yes we have already discussed in the previous class i told you how to use a protector to measure an angle so let's begin with an acute angle can you tell me the exact measure of the angles yeah only of a right angle i can tell it's a 90 degree right i can't tell because it is greater than 90 and less than 180 so i can't tell the correct measure i can only say this is an obtuse angle and uh, this is true for this also because i can't say that it is a what is the measure i can say it's an acute angle because it's smaller than 90 degree and reflex angle so again i can't tell the proper value i can only tell the proper value proper measure of a right angle okay can you guess yeah these are acute angle but we can't guess the uh, major of an angle we can only tell it uh, is it obtuse or acute angle so let's see how we can uh, measure an angle so there is a device and the device is uh, known as protector so we use protector to measure an angle okay so in the previous session i already said you how to use a protector so in this this session we will we will again discuss about the protector so protector looks like this a curved shape like a d also like uh, this is this is forming like a D so we have two scales two scales of a protector so one is lower as you can see and another one is greater like this this it will start from this this is lower and then it moves from 0 to an 80 and here upper scales from left hand side it starts from 0 and lower scale starts from left hand side right hand sides from zero right it's right hand side and it's left hand side okay so it starts from zero and here it the lower scale starts from zero it's the difference is only why we have two measures to measure the angle like this if you have an angle like this uh, it's towards open towards right hand side so we you will use the scale that begin with the zero from right hand side if you have an angle that is that face towards the left hand side so we will use the upper scale this scale that start from zero so you have to check whether it's um, open from the left hand side or right hand side so that you can use the scale and you can measure it perfectly so let's see a fact fact is that in 1900 all the world's mathematical logic knowledge could be written in about 80 books only now we have so much of mathematics knowledge so we can fill more than 100,000 books so today we have in this century we have lot of mathematical knowledge and we can put this knowledge in more than 1000 books so let's see how to measure an angle so place the protector we, it's very important how to place a protector so we have to place the protector on the line where it coincides with the line at zero and then place it properly like this and the measure here is 70 degrees so we are checking from the right hand side because the face is open from the right hand side if it is like this so use the upper scale if it's like this use the lower scale so its measure is 70 degree so it should be very correct how to place a, prote a protector so the line should uh, meet with the line at zero it should coincide okay okay so there are two scales that i have already discussed with you the two scales on the protector read the scales which has zero mark coinciding with the straight edge it should be at the straight edge 
the point where the line AB comes on the protector is the degree measure of an angle. And now where the point is like this, where the point will come and this is known as the degree. How much is the measure of an angle? Okay. So it's very easy and very important topic, the angles. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. Let's take any random angle and let's check the answer so let's place the protector let me show you how to place protectors this, yeah this line this straight line should be at the vertex i told you about what is vertex in the previous session so it should be at the vertex of the angle and this straight line right this straight line should coincide with the zero look here the major is 50 degree so major is 50 degree correct so let's see one more. So it's a straight line. So let it should coincide with the. So it's not correct because okay. So moving back, let's take any random. Okay, so it's slightly greater than ninety. Look, slightly greater than ninety. So these are the division between the scale. So it's ten. Like it's just like a scale. We have ten divisions. Similarly, it has. So it's one and two. So that the major is 92 degrees. Okay, so we can do, we can check one more obtuse one. Let's check the obtuse one. Okay, so it will be, okay, look obtuse one. So it's slightly greater, one scale greater. So the answer is 171. This is how we have to check or measure and angle and it's very really important the uh, we should know how to place the protector where the vertex at the vertex uh, it should be 90 degree where it's meeting and how to measure an angle is uh, the line should coincide with the straight line and for the next line we can check what is the measure of an angle so it's 90 45 any other so use your protector to draw these angles so it's your homework so you will draw these angles 40 is acute obtuse and again acute so you will use protector to draw this okay so let's draw an angle and measure with the help of protector draw any angle any random angle draw it with the scale and then measure with the protector and check what is the measure of an angle and please write your answer in the comment box so i am waiting whosoever will write first so i will announce the five names okay in our next session so let's uh, solve uh, let's check whether these statements are true or false so the major of an angle is uh, the major of an angle of an acute angle is greater than 90 no it's yeah it's less than 90 the major of an obtuse angle it's true it's false the major of a reflex angle is greater than it's true the major of one complete one complete revolution is 360 correct if angle a is 53 degree angle b is 35 degree a is greater M is less than A, greater than M and greater than B. Okay, this is the last statement. So, let's solve some question. So, observe. Now, you have to observe properly. Observe the given figure. You have to observe the given figure with protector and give the measure of each of the angles. So, we will use the protector and we have to measure. Look, if you will see, this is 40. Check it properly. It's 45 degree right and let's see the next one next one is 90 degree no greater than 90 is 95 check here is 65 and check here it's almost 160 degrees so these are the angles if we'll put this as a p okay s o uh, or uh, we can put like this p o q first will be POQ second will be okay we will make it like this so we'll put O and the vertex and P here let's begin with Q T R U and S so S is 
180 that means it's a straight angle it's 160 the major is 160 degree here the major is 125 it's 95 it's 35 not 45 it's 35 it's here in between 40 and 30 okay so this is how we can measure an angle okay the angle marked in dash color is the biggest angle which is the biggest angle so how you will know so you have to measure it with the protector and you have to check what is uh, the angle marked in a dash color is the biggest angle okay so next question is let's solve where will the hand of a clock stop if it starts at 12 o'clock and makes a half revolution let's make a clock and let's check what will be the half revolution and what will be the what will be the answer so let's put 12 here and 6 here 3 here and 9 here 1 and 2 4 5 7 8 10 and 11 so half revolution means 3 and 9 okay it's starting it's saying that it start from 12 so half revolution will be another needle will be at 6 o'clock so starts at 2 again we have to start from 2 so it's starting from 2 and half revolution will be at 8 okay so we have to check for half only okay so the given below our clock show the time using needles to depict the corresponding angle so acute angle you can measure um, the two it's two and right angle obviously is three o'clock or nine o'clock or any other obtuse will be like this like this this will make an obtuse angle that is greater than 90 degree and then straight angle will be like this so this is a straight angle so using the need uh, the all the clock we can depict the corresponding corresponding angle so is this angle an acute or reflex this is an acute angle the difference is only that its face is the face is open uh, from the left hand side so let's have a quiz we have already studied so much about the angles what are the different types how to measure an angle what is complete revolution what is half revolution how many right angles will in be in the one complete revolution let's solve some question which of the following is the greatest angle by hands of a clock it's a 12 its minute hand is 12 and another is 5 okay and 12 uh, so let's make a clock and let's try to do minute hand at 12 and uh, other at 2 so it will be of, um, acute angle 3 it will be 90 acute so this is the correct answer okay so we got one star okay if two lines intersect each other at 90 degree they are called as oh yeah so the two lines if two lines intersect at 90 degrees so this is forming a 90 degree angle so this is known as a right angle okay which of the following can be used to draw 38 degree protector we can use protector to draw an angle whose major is more than 180 but less than is called a reflex angle so we have finished it good we got four stars okay so how to measure an angle we have today learned in the class and we have seen so many examples how to measure we have learned how to use and protector we have uh, done so many quiz and so many questions so take care of yourself keep smiling be happy and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel bye bye take care